Hey everyone, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. And today I'm going over some uh, pop vinyls and some, well, A action figure. Uh, no comic books this time, but it is Suicide Squad time. I'm so excited. The uh, pop vinyls have come out and I picked up one, I'm not going to really call it an action figure, but a uh, one of the Jada uh, Metal Toys. Um, the reason I picked this one up at Hot Topic, because Hot Topic charges uh, about $6 more than, um, than uh, who, uh, Toys R Us. Toys R Us, they usually have these for about $10. These are here are $6.50, or $16, excuse me, $16.50 at Hot Topic. So that's $6.50 more. Well, $6.51 if you want to be exact. But the reason I picked it up is because I had my coupon for, if I spend $125, I get $50 off. And this gave me that extra money. So so I got the $50 off because you know, I added this on at the end. But we have the Harley Quinn metal figure. And we all knew if that come out, I was definitely getting it. So there's Harley. Um, they also had Joker, but I didn't need that at that price. And there's, there's a whole bunch more of them there. I will probably get this two-pack right here if I can find that. And that Harley... Maybe one or maybe one of these jokers. Oh, jokers on this side. Maybe one of those. But I definitely get that two pack when that comes out. So there's Harley. So it looks really cool. Um, one thing about this, I just now looking at, it, I just noticed uh, they did not put the tattoos that she has on her legs and on her stomach and stuff like that. They did not include those tattoos on this figure. I found that rather interesting because. On the side of the box, you can see she's got the tattoos. And it also does not have like her, her fishnets on the side as well. Hmm. Just notice that. Very interesting. Very interesting. On the bat, uh, you might not be able to see it on the bat. Oh, this side on the bat. It says good night on the bat. <laughs> she's going to crack them upside the head. You can kind of see it on that side of the box. Good. Let's see good and night right there so when she cracks them upside the head they go good night and now the pops i've been looking for these waiting for them they finally come out i didn't find all of them i found most of them there's a there's a couple in here i didn't find but i'm gonna go through them in numerical order of of their numbers so we start off with uh suicide squad pop heroes number 96 we have the joker um and he does have Tattoo right on his forehead. Deranged. Not deranged. Damaged. Uh, damaged. I'm sorry. Damaged. And he's got his tattoo right there. Got all his tattoos. Joker right there on his stomach. Uh, I got. I like the, the pants. Got the Arkham pants from uh, prison. Looks awesome. If you notice uh, in these right here, you can see in the back, it's got that sheet of paper. That is for the, um, was it the Legion of Collectors? So if you want to get that, there you go. It's got that in there so you can get that. Um, you know what? I'm going to see if I have a link. Uh, if I do have my link, uh, you can uh, go go through uh, my, my thing and just and order it. It's a great, I mean, I love my DC uh, Legion of Collectors. I kept saying, give me say Collectors Corp. It's not. It's the Legion of Collectors. Um, I'll put it down below if I have it on there. And I'll leave a little message right here letting you know that I do have it down there. So... There you go. And that's Joker. Looks good. Looks good. Next, number 97, we have Harley. Does it say that on there too? Yep. Uh, there's Harley, number 97. And you can see her hair. She's got the two colors hair on one side. Then, uh, is it red on the other? Uh, my, yeah, my, is it red? Yeah, it looks, looks kind of red-ish on the other side. There you go. There's Harley. And as opposed to this little figure here, she does have her tattoos and her fishnets on her legs. And if you can see it on her bat, it does say good night on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe turn it upside down. Yeah, let's see if you can see that on her bat. You might not be able to see it. But her bat does say good night on it. There you go. Looks awesome. So happy to find that one. I know, I know everyone is stunned that I'd be excited to find that, that pop. Next, we have Will Smith, uh, Deadshot. This is the unmasked version of it. 
There he is. This is a character that a lot of people did not, uh, well, not the character, but Will Smith, they didn't like him being picked for, uh, for Deadshot. But for the most part, through his career, he has just been knocking him out of the park in his roles and his acting. So I'm going to give him a shot, even though a shot, a dead shot. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping he knocks out of the park. Uh, like that one movie, um, uh, After Earth, I thought that was just one of the worst things I have seen. And I watched it just hoping it would get better because I like Will Smith so much. But And by the way, I like this gun too. Look at that. It's awesome. It's an awesome gun. See that right there. Next, we have Rick Flag, kind of the maybe the, like the leader of the uh, Suicide Squad. Uh, I know back in the day he was, so you know he's kind of a little bit out of his package a little bit. So have to sneak in there and slide him back in his spot. So there's Rick Flag. Uh, this is one of the characters. There's a few characters that people are not going to really know very much about. Uh, Harley and Joker, they'll know a lot about, but some of the other ones, people won't really have a lot of knowledge of. So, Rick Flag is one that I hope he gets a lot of uh, a lot of roll time, a lot of screen time, so people will kind of get a clue of uh, who he really is. Good character, real good character. So, there you go. There he is. Uh, next, this is one I think a lot of people may not know a lot about. And that is Katana. This is number 100 in the series. I was looking up. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Number 100. And I like she's got her scars on her face. That looks really, really cool. Like right up underneath her chin right there and on her face. Looks really cool. And her outfit looks great. And that sword looks amazing. That does look like a pretty good sword. You know, sometimes the sword, you can see it's got a little bit of curve to it. Sometimes the swords look all bent up and all nasty, but that, that one's not too bad. I like that mask on her. The Land of the Rising Sun. There you go. Katana looks really, really cool. That's number 100. Next, we have number 101. Uh, this is one that, again, a lot of people aren't going to know. Uh, if you've seen um, Assault on Arkham, you get a little knowledge of uh, Boomerang. Uh, he's from uh, Australia. He's got his boomerang and can do magical things with that bad boy. That's the hundred captain for Captain Boomerang. He's got Captain. Let's see if you can see that. It's kind of dark, but yeah. There he is. Looks really, really cool. I like that boomerang. Good character. Yeah, that's from the side. There he is, Boomerang. Looks awesome. Uh, next, let's see, what number was he? Uh, 101, and this is 102. We have Killer Croc. Now, I'll say this right here is is one I'm kind of worried about because, you know, if you've seen a lot of the the uh, animated stuff, uh, the, the movies, the video games, um, this is not, you know, it's more human than Croc. And in the TV shows and, and the movies and stuff like that, he is a lot more of a crocodile with, you know, a little less of a human. So I'm kind of hoping that this, he comes off really well. And I like his jacket there. His jacket, he's got, got the dragon right here. Looks really, really cool. If you can see that, looks really cool. His shoes are cool too. <laughs> he's got that gold shoes, like almost like professional wrestling shoes. Got the, the boots. He looks really, really cool. I like those. I mean, he, he, should, he looks like he could be a professional wrestler in that outfit. Take the jacket off and go in and wrestle. <laughs> looks really cool. I'm liking that. But again, the character itself, I'm hoping comes off really well. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, next is 103. We have Diablo. And this is a character, again, I don't have a ton of knowledge on. Um, he's got like the sickle right there. Like the like death coming for you. he's got that sickle on there he he's got was that seven he's got seven marks right there for like seven kills i'm guessing looks really cool he's got diablo tattooed right under his chin that looks really cool he's got that was that two uh two one three is that what it is yeah two one three tattooed on his hand looks really cool and that jacket is like a like a high school varsity jacket. I can't see what that says right there. 
Diablo. Oh, his jacket actually says right there, it says Diablo. Really hard to see it right there, but eh, you might not be able to see it. But it's there, I promise, it's there. There he is. Maybe I'll see it a little bit better on the side right there. Yeah, I can see a little bit better right there. That's number 103 in the series. Next, we have 104, which I did not... Uh, uh, that is the Hot Topic exclusive Joker. I think that's where that one is. You know what? That might not be the Hot Topic exclusive Joker. Um, that's probably actually not. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I don't know where that's the exclusive to. But next, we have uh, 105. We have the Inmate Joker, the GameStop exclusive. And I just picked this up a few minutes ago. So, there she is. That looks really, really cool. Got the hair back. Got the... Looks awesome. What did that say? Arkham? Oh. Uh, right on her pants, it says, Burn After Use. So, I guess no one else can ever use her pants. They, they can't just wash them and use them again, apparently. There's that Harley right there. And... This is one I, I remember when I first saw it. I, was, I saw it um, online and stuff. I was like, oh, God, I have that one. And uh, the other Harley, and I think I mentioned it earlier, was the the uh, Harley for um, the Harleen Quinn. Can't wait for that one. The Dr. Harleen. Can't wait for it. The Walmart exclusive. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find it at Walmart. I like her tattoo, the little heart tattooed on her. And what's, she, what's that have on the side of her face? Rotten. Oh, on the side of her face. Um, can't see it right there but it says rotten so that's tattooed on there as well and they're using really good detail in these as well so i like that and she has what is that tattoo she has something tattooed um right there on her stomach i can't tell what that is so there's that harley the inmate harley so that looks awesome next we have Deadshot the mask version and I'm not excited about this one at all I remember when I first saw a, a preview and he had this mask on and I thought okay maybe they're going to CGI his mask and uh, apparently they're just going to leave it like that and I thought it just it doesn't look very good at all it doesn't look very Deadshot to me but that's just me uh, um, I don't know. Not 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 excited about this one at all. And one thing I want to do is with this other one, I want to check out the gun. Yeah, I want to check out the gun on it. Yeah, it looks like same gun. So that's kind of cool. There we go. So that's the other dead shot. Got the mask version and the unmasked. And uh, last one I've got is, let's see, there is, uh, this is 108. That last one was 107. Then there's uh, the Joker with a suit. I have not found that one. But this is the Hot Topic exclusive uh, gown version of Harley Quinn, which looks really, really cool. Awesome there. Does she have the tattoos in this one? Um, I don't see the tattoos on her legs anyway, but she does have the, the heart still tattooed on her face. And so she's got some makeup on right there. It looks kind of cool there. That's the one in the, in the dress. And I like, it's, it's got her kind of trademark diamonds on the dress, which I really like. <clears throat> so we got that one. So that's three different Harleys I've got. And that was my Joker mask that just fell. <laughs> There you go. There's that. Actually, it's not Joker. It's uh, Jason, not Joker. I got, I got Suicide Squad on the mind. That's what it is. So that one right there looks really, really cool. So, uh, And then there's one that I don't know if it's an exclusive or what. That is Enchantress. Not seen that anywhere. So I don't know if that's exclusive or what. I'm kind of wondering if that, and I hate to put this out there, that I wonder if that's going to be the one for the uh, Marvel Collector's Core. Uh, not Marvel. <laughs> the DC Legion of Collectors. Oh, man. Wow. That that might need to get edited out. <laughs> um, so, 
I wonder if that's going to be that. That might be that character there. But here's the whole group of them. So the ones I do not have are um, this Joker here. Uh, this Joker here, which I actually do have this one coming. That's the other uh, Hot Topic. Is that the one? Nope, nope, this one. Uh, the Joker in the tuxedo. Uh, Enchantress, I have not seen. So I just, there's just two Jokers and the Enchantress. That's the ones I have not seen yet. And then, like I said, the Harley Quinn and the, um, the Dr. Harleen Quinzel. That's going to be a Walmart exclusive. Can't wait. I hope I find that uh, in the store instead of having to pay $20, $25 for it. But that's all I got right now. That's the beginning of the Suicide Squad. Let the hype begin. Uh, the movie comes out in right at two months. So we have, still have two months away. Got all these pops. Uh, action figures are starting to come out, getting excited about it. So that's all I got right now. And you guys have an incredible day.